Tom, you're the project manager of a pump repair facility here in Antwerp. What would you say it takes to run an efficient shop? Well, I think it takes two things. Uh, first of the things is to have skilled mechanics. The second thing is to have a good, well-organized structure, so a good system. Now, you said skilled mechanics. I've heard a lot of people say it's very hard to find such people. What's your experience? It's hard to find skilled mechanics. Uh, at the beginning here, uh, we took over the workshop from Langsys and we had lots of uh, skilled people. And we had the advantage to have uh, an, an ti a time to take over the shop. So uh, we hired a lot of young guys coming from school and we trained them during uh, three and a half years uh, by on-the-job training, but also uh, they did courses with uh, the OEMs the seal manufacturers, and uh, we organized an own uh, evening course. Okay, so as you say, a lot of on-the-job training? Yeah, a lot of on-the-job on training is the most important thing uh, that they can learn from their older colleagues uh, to become a good pump mechanic. And are you satisfied with the system you have here internally? Is it an efficient one? It's a very efficient one. Uh, the mechanics do not only have to do their job as a mechanic, but they, they also have to uh, understand how the system works and that way uh, we don't lose our, our pedals uh, we can always fall back on the information that we had uh, before. So I'm assuming then that this is a very hassle-free, stress-free environment to work in? No, not at all because uh, one on two pumps is a high priority pump so uh, that means that uh, companies are depending on that pump to, to get their uh, their system running so they depend on us we are called during the night during weekends and that takes takes long uh, a lot of stress but uh, i have the luck to have people that are uh, very flexible and they like their job they're good uh, skilled uh, craftsmen now i understand you are repairing say a thousand or twelve hundred pumps on an annual basis what can you say about the main types of pump failure you see well the main types are the dry run of the seal um, and breakdown of the bearings. Uh, breakdown because in, uh, insufficient lubrication or also uh, thermoshock. Uh, so final question, what key message would you have for users who want to improve their pump uptimes? Well, I would tell them to uh, invest in uh, training of their operators. That's uh, the main issue, I think, at this moment. And also to invest in, uh, in um, predictive maintenance, so, such as uh, vibration measurements, uh, heat measurements. Uh, all those things are uh, it's, it's a, a small cost comparing with uh, the, the complete overhaul of, uh, of an urgent pump.